Coming to you live from PRS View Studios, this is your Plastic Surgery Minute. Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Rourke. Uh, we're here with PRS View, and we're honored to have a world-renowned craniofacial surgeon from Brazil, Dr. Dove Golemberg. And he's also a specialist in vascular malformation. So, Dove, tell us about what is a hemangioma? Hemangioma is the most common vascular tumor of childhood. So today we divide and classify vascular anomalies in vascular tumors or malformations. So infantile hemangioma is the most common vascular tumor what we have. It? It's a tumor, uh, compo the composition of vascular hem of hemangioma is basically endothelial cells. So, so a bunch of blood vessels close to the skin. Yeah, a bunch yeah. of endothelial cells together and they have the most different behavior than all the other tumors because they grow and they disappear. And sometimes you have to do something active in terms of treatment when they are in some specific locations. That's the point the plastic surgery come into the treatment. So if I have a hemangioma with all these blood vessels on my cheek and how do I know whether I need surgery or not? How do I treat it? Well, uh, it depends if it may cause what uh, I call growth-related deformity. Mm -hmm. That means if the growing of the lesion can impair facial development, this is a good indication for treatment, mm -hmm. pharmacological or surgical. So what are those treatments, pharmacological? Today, the number one treatment in terms of medication is a beta blocker, is propanolol, mm -hmm. that we use for since 2008 with very good results. Right. But there are cases when surgery is still uh, uh, an option. Good. And when do you do the surgery in a child? Uh, mainly in eyelid lesions, nasal lesions, lip lesions, when they are usually bigger than one centimeter because these lesions can cause some definitive permanent deformity. Great, wise words from Dr. Goldenberg on the management of this very common problem called hemangioma.